Let's see what Mustard has to say. And OG Ananobi is going to have to be a scorer in New York. RJ used to have 25, po 25 point games on a regular. This nigga has one, one 20 point per game season. What is he talking about? If RJ used to have 25 point per game point games on a regular, he wouldn't be getting traded for fucking OG Ananobi. What is this nigga talking about? This nigga is chatting. The definition of a chatterer is ball don't stop. <laughs> this is yeah. what real hoopers get. <laughs> this nigga doesn't know what he's talking about. And that's why he deleted the tweet because he started getting baked. Nigga was going to end up with more quotes than likes. <laughs> and it's, it's, it, it doesn't get any better <laughs> here. See that, right? Look at this. Look at oh this. Oh my God. I'll play it while I... This is how OG has to play in New York with defending other team's top guys. If he's just a 3 and D guy, the Knicks lost that trade. He had, he had he has to be able to put the ball on the floor and take pressure off of Brunson and Randall. OG and Anobi is statistically the worst ISO player in the fucking league. I don't know what kind of uh, put ball on the floor shit. Look look at even how he's hitting these moves. This nigga I mean to to be fair, Bono Stop said this is how he has to play. He didn't say he is that guy. But for them to be successful, like, he has to be this guy. So, Mustard, not too much. It's garbage. What are we talking about here? And I quoted I it. Like, you know. OG has to be able to put the ball Take the show. I'm done. Take me off. Take me off. Cut the show. I'm done. Someone said, if RJ brings Toronto to the playoffs, what will you say? Oh, man. Not again. We know that's not gonna happen. No way he just stole Omar's soundboard. No way. Yo, Omar, are you seeing this? Omar, are you seeing this? No. Chat. What the fuck? Wait. No, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. Jay brings Toronto to the playoffs. What will you say? Oh man, not again. Ah. <laughs> we know that's not gonna happen. You're better than this. He's uh, RJ Barrett taking the Raptors to the playoffs is like you pulling a bad like bitch. BDS. It's just Rada with the 20 gifted. Happen. But you know, BDS couldn't help himself. Uh he had to keep going. And he even posted this. Pause, by the way. Because, you know, people were clowning him. Yo, pause. <laughs> pause on that, bro. <laughs> pause on that, bro. Does anyone remember when everyone uh, spoke to BDS in low space and Mustard ain't even had this energy? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And rightfully so. Oh, he clowned him first RJ Eli Barrett take, and he said, RJ Barrett used to have multiple 25-point games every month. Casuals are caught up in percentages. You gotta use voice He's a very polished young pro and will thrive in Toronto. We got another super chat uh, from Joe B. Sur Look how much I'm sorry, I don't even want to mispronounce this, but y'all can see Suruji Azokino. Az Azukino. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to pronounce it. But Joe B., appreciate the super chat, my brother. He said, I uh, feel like most of Ball Don't Stop's posts are bait more often than not. It probably is. We're going to get to some more BDS because hey, BDS yo. has some really bad takes about LeBron, too, that we're going to talk about. Hey. BDS is a clown. He's a clown. Um, whenever I want to laugh, I just go through his Twitter. Um, but what is he talking about? Casuals are caught up in percentages. I'm sorry that I don't want a nigga to drop 25 on 30 shots. That's not good basketball. That's not good basketball. Who wants to watch that? I'm sorry that I'd rather have a guy that even if he doesn't give me 20, he gives me 15 on 10, 9 shots, than a guy that gives me 20 on 20 shots. He stinks. Plain and simple. He's not a good player. Damn. He's not a good player. Not too much BDS, he had this tweet about RJ, and I responded. I responded because y'all niggas know I keep up with this shit. I keep it 100 with these niggas. I, I, I don't like to run from the truth. Someone said BDSM ball don't stop me much, and he don't. But I even responded. I was like, dude, just let it go. <laughs> just let it go. 
my boy Simple responded and said, very polished pro who efficiently, uh, who, who efficiency constantly below 5 to 7% below league average. Got another, uh, got another super chat. Appreciate that. It's what was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, Mustard is killing me with the soundboard, bro. Yo, yo, is this what he was trying to pull off? Come on, bruh. Yeah, yes. Come on, man. Says from Solomon Grundy, you speak it facts, my guy. I'm a long, I'm a lifelong <laughs> Knicks fan. All the homies were expecting him to get traded if he doesn't show growth. No excuses. I appreciate that. I'm glad you're holding him accountable. The nigga is just not a good player. He's not a good player. I don't even know why you'd even deny all these things about him. He's genuinely not good. He's not good. Maybe I just haven't seen this, uh, the tweets, but I felt like uh, BDS would be on Emmanuel Quigley's tip in this trade. Like, he, ugh, Emmanuel Quigley. Real baller for real. Toronto, they found their guy. So Another response. Uh, nigga said he sounds exactly like the type. Uh, these players sound exactly like the type of players. This dweeb likes inefficient Arnie scores. With the subs. Zero the Arnie with the sub, man. Like, like, what are you gassing up RJ Barrett for in 2023? And there was a specific post. He also posted another one. Um, <laughs> oh wow, he it even grew even more. Uh, they they cooking that nigga about that OG and Obi <laughs> tweet. But I'm trying to find because he posted another tweet about Malachi fucking Flynn. Malachi fucking <laughs> Flynn. What? What are you gassing Malachi, Malachi Flynn for in 2023? Flynn. We'll get to the Kobe shit because there's there's some Kobe stuff that this nigga, this clown nigga, was on. Oh, uh, he deleted the Malachi Flynn post. Look at this. Does this even make sense? Percentage nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Percentage nerds on here just look at players' numbers as chess pieces. So what if RJ shot 42%? That's insane, right? So what if he shot 42%? So what if he took 20 shots to get to 20 points? Man, the rhythm might be different in Toronto at home, and his usage might be more consistent equals you get better percentages. And it's wild, right? Because in New York, he... But... Even with the way he's talking, he's still talking about them like he's like they're chess pieces. I don't I don't know what BDS is talking about here though, dead ass. Um, so what if RJ shot forty two? I, I think um right right message just wrong delivery. Right message is wrong delivery. Like I think his message is just, yo, players can can perform in different situations. RJ Barrett might be better in Toronto than than in New York. And he might not shoot forty two percent because in New in New York there's a better system in play, but he just tried to stick in the I'm a real hooper 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 talk for real by just adding the percentage nerds on here. Just look at players as numbers and chess pieces. Like you didn't have to add that, bro. You could have literally just kept it at Yo, chill out on RJ Barrett because I feel like in Toronto he's gonna have a better opportunities and and his numbers are gonna look better. Like you could have just left it at that. You know, like what the fuck. He actually had a, a, a much worse, do? like, space team. He had less spacing in New York. So what are you talking about? There was a take from Allen Iverson. And the take wasn't even, like, that while He was basically saying MJ and, and Kobe are on, like, the one and two tier. And that, um, like, every, there's everybody else. He said he didn't even think LeBron was... I guess on their level type shit. Like they're like one and two and there's everybody else. Um, and it's crazy because like Allen Iverson also had a quote before where he said that um, LeBron is the one, like like he's the GOAT. But, you know, he's flip-flopped type shit. Um, and, you know, BDS, this clown-ass nigga that I be getting on, <laughs> you know, I, 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 I don't just hate on niggas for nothing. I'm not even hating. I'm just critiquing. But, hey, hater or not, whatever. I'm cooking. You, you know, what What I said about this tweet, I, I didn't put out the tweet because I don't think it was the right time and place, but I, I'll say it right here. When I saw this tweet, this, this is the reach argument that I, I was telling y'all about um, a couple weeks ago about Kobe's go argument. There is an argument. Is it reach? It's reach. Yeah, it's reach. For Kobe to be the most complete player of all time. For Kobe to be the, the most well-rounded player of all time. Um. But... 
I feel like this shit right here, though, I think this is something that, like, this is actually what stat nerds do. Like, the, the thing he's talking about, this is what stat nerds do. Because when stat nerds put up, you know, the, the whatchamacallit, not, not the stat nerds, but the, the people he's talking about, this is what they do. They put up points, rebounds, assists, steals, blocks, field goal percentage, true shooting percentage, free throw percentage, like all, all these other stats, and just, yay, hey, whoever has the most categories, that's who's the better all-around player. Uh, excuse me, not even better all-around, that's just the better player. So when it comes to this argument that even he's making, and this is why it's flawed, is because, yes, Kobe might have all these arguments, but LeBron's ability to slash and finish at the rim outweighs some of the things that Kobe has on top. Like I, I think, I think LeBron's slashing ability legitimately outweighs Kobe's handle advantage. I think LeBron's passing ability outweighs Kobe's free throw ability. But the way he's weighing it out. It's the same thing. Kobe's free throw ability is the same as LeBron's passing ability. You know what I'm saying? Because he's just, hey, he's just pointing out the categories. He's just pointing out the categories. Demoralizing. A, what even is that, bro? Did you see what LeBron did to Toronto? Did you see what LeBron did to Boston? Which time, right? Exactly. Exactly. Did you see what LeBron did to Detroit? Did you see what LeBron did to the Golden State Warriors? To the Indiana, like, what are, what are we doing, bro? And, and even if we're talking about real hoopers, there I, I literally saw a clip um, a couple of days ago of Doc Rivers talking about, like, like, yo, there was a point in time, and this is when LeBron really became him for real, where LeBron started calling out and blowing up Boston's plays because he knew what the fuck was going on. And quite literally demoralized Boston to the point where one of the assistant coach went to Doc Rivers and said, all right, we're, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Because he is literally calling out our place. Toronto has had a similar story. Bro, DeMar DeRozan and Paul George just came on the, the, the um, they came on a podcast just essentially having a, a, a LeBron therapy session. Oh, he cooked you too? Yeah, yeah, he cooked me too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing here, man? I'm going to cook this nigga because this nigga's a clown. Um, but here's his take, basically, about why most players pick Kobe over LeBron. You know, casual stat watchers and, you know, people who are conditioned by the media, the mainstream media. You know, it's wild, right? Because he starts off with that. And I'm like, but who are you? <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, like, you call people casuals because they believe LeBron's better. Why can't they just have a difference of opinion? Whatever. Which has a huge disconnect from actual basketball. They get confused when this comes up, right? And I'm going to leave Jordan out of this. Uh, most players that played against both Kobe and LeBron, the reason they always pick Kobe is because game for game, skill for skill, and just mentality and will, it's Kobe. Game for game, skill for skill, and mentality and will. You know, when people have this whole... Yo, this motherfucker's trying to rap. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo. he's just trying... Yo, BDS is trying to... He's just trying to rap, bro. 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name type shit. Like, what are, what are we doing? Oh, mentality Yo. thing. I'm just like, obviously, there are things we can see. You think he Eminem? Like, <laughs> what are we talking about here? You think he Eminem, bruh? Honestly, like, like, that's not a tangible thing. By large, there's a pretty clear gap here. You know, there's two things LeBron did better than Kobe on the basketball court. He's a superior slasher because of how big, strong, and powerful he was. He's a gifted athlete, right? And he was a better passer. Uh, other than that, Kobe had better footwork. Kobe had better mid-range basketball. They get confused when this comes up, right? And I'm going to leave Jordan out of this. It's it because... <laughs> no, <laughs> Baljeet doesn't stop is insane, bro. Shout out to Nate Dynasty for the $3. Just glad Grimes is getting a big role. Shout out, to, shout out to Quentin Grimes. Game for game, skill for skill, and just mentality and will, it's Kobe. Bro, By large, there's a pretty clear gap crazy, here. Bro. You know, there's two things LeBron did better than Kobe on the basketball court. He's a superior slasher because of how big, strong, look at, look and powerful he was. He's a gifted athlete, chat, right? Bro. And he was a better passer. Uh, other than that, Kobe had better footwork. 
Kobe had better mid-range game. Kobe had a better three-point shot. Kobe had a better free throw shot. Uh, Kobe had better post game. Uh, Kobe was a better shot maker in general, right? Scoring is the main thing of the game. But more than anything, you know, Kobe is a more tenacious defender. His will, you know, picking you up 48. Oh, uh, uh, he's not a better. But even this is what kills me about BDS and, and the LeBron-Kobe discussion with him specifically. Even, even if his point is scoring is the main thing of the game. When you look at two players and one player scores at a higher rate, even per 100 possessions, or whatever whatever metric you want to do, but he doesn't want to look past points per game, so I won't look past points per game. Shout out to Rodagal for another gifted. When one player is scoring at a higher volume and at a higher efficiency, meaning going down the court, when you're trying to score, one guy just puts the ball in the basket, not only more, but more efficiently. Because who would want to miss a shot going down the court? So you got another player who can make a shot at a higher rate. Um, then you're at every point of the court, aside from the mid-range, probably. And it doesn't drop in the playoffs? What more would you ask? It'd be one thing if LeBron dropped in the playoffs, right? So like with Giannis. I don't think Giannis is a better... Or I don't I don't know. Let's say, let's say Embiid. Even though KD drops in. I don't know. Like, okay, essentially what I'm saying is there are certain scorers who, yo, they get, you know, they get their points in the regular season. I, I'm going to just point to Giannis. Gian Giannis gets his points in the regular season efficient as fuck. But come playoff time, that shit drops, and it actually is detrimental to his team. I wouldn't put, I would actually pull the versatility card on a guy like Kevin Durant, on a guy like Jokic. Even though the efficiency, ah, Jokic is a bad example. But even though the efficiency numbers in the regular season point towards Giannis, is because in the in the in the playoffs, one person doesn't drop as much as the other. But in the case of LeBron and, and, and Kobe, this is a case of the dude who has a less bag doesn't drop in the playoffs. So what the fuck? What are what are we what are we talking about? What are we talking about? So. Is he wearing an Akatsuki do-rag with a rogue headband? Or is it a beanie? It's a beanie. I am not wearing a do-rag. This is a beanie, y'all. This is a beanie. Relax. Relax. All right. Defender. He's, he's, he's a more tenacious defender. Oh. Picking you up 94 feet. You know, picking you up in the half court. Guarding the other team's best players. <laughs> Kobe's a better player off the ball. You could put him in a triangle. Princeton, he wasn't going to take away from other guys' game. He didn't need to dominate the ball. And everything wasn't about, you know, catered through him. Uh, you know, in, in, in terms of their will, you know, just their mentality, every time you want Kobe closing the game in these two situations. Yeah, so so the whole mentality thing. He's the, the catered through him discussion with LeBron, too, is interesting. Because I used to be on that, like, all right. Like, LeBron isn't as versatile as people make him out to be because he can't play other positions other positions outside of having the ball in his hands like being the the primary um play initiator but yo i'm taking that back i, I should have never made that take i ain't gonna lie because bro bro has played point guard he has played small forward he has played power forward in a lot of situations um and has done it all successfully even in the last couple of years he's shown the ability to play off ball way way better and not be so ball reliant you know um so basically done i don't even got to get into the mentality stuff but like we're gonna break down this idiot but just just hold up so my issue right when it comes to this convo and like this post it isn't even just what he said what he said is stupid don't get me wrong but what's wild to me is that that too someone pointed that someone pointed that out defense you yeah you have all these little you know um all, all of these little divisions, all of these little buckets for offense, but defense is just one encompassing thing. And it went to Kobe. We're not talking about help side defense. We're not talking about point of attack defense. Um, we're not talking about post defense. We're not talking about isolation defense. But with defense, uh, it's just defense. <laughs> it's just de like, what are, what are we doing, bro? He was able to break down all the different types of scoring. Footwork Kobe, post-game Kobe, mid-range Kobe, three-ball Kobe, defense Kobe. Well, we get to how stupid the defense is. But why is it that you just broke down defense with defense? 
defense isn't just defense. I De- also find it weird when it comes to the skill conversation that defensive skills do not get brought up. And for the for the hoopers in chat, y'all let me know how much skill goes into defense. I I, I see Eli down there. I know I got a you know a couple of hoopers in chat for real for real. How much of defense is skill? Because the way some NBA players and motherfuckers like BDS talk about defense, you would think it's 100% hustle. It's just you got it or you don't. It's just you're an athlete or you don't. But your ability to to, to read passing lanes, your ability to read the defense um, in order to help at the right time, to make the right rotations at the right time, to, to point this player to move over there, like that is skill to me. Doesn't require as much skill. Defense skill is IQ and hella effort. Yeah, effort effort is a really big part of it. But yeah, like all all these things, like there is there is a thing as defensive footwork. I don't like I don't know, bro. I don't know. Defense has on ball defense, off ball defense, help side, rim protection. There's rebounding. I don't even see rebounding on here, by the way. Rebounding's also, not here. Also, the, the way I've heard Dennis Rodman talking about rebounding, the fact that rebounding isn't viewed as a skill is kind of crazy. I understand like a lot of rebounds nowadays. Is it isn't like people reading out how to how to box out this player at this angle. Like Ro- Dennis Rodman was talking about how like yo he studies the tendencies of the rotation of the ball from Michael Jordan so that he knows when he takes this shot at this spot, it's probably going to spin right. And now he needs to box out right instead of box out left. Like, that's how, like, that's a skill to me if you go that much in depth. Now, I know a lot of people just, hey, find, find the nearest man and just box out. But, yeah, Rodman broke that shit down to a science. That shit was crazy. That shit was insane. Here. Timing, blocking shots, too. Notice like, he didn't I, put that's that. A skill. That's a skill, too. And then when we're talking about clutch shot making... I don't even understand how, like, I, Kobe's clutch. Don't get me wrong. But I don't get how you can say Kobe is even close. Ah, here go Day Day. <laughs> when we see the numbers, we watch here it. Here go Day Day, man. LeBron had two buzzer beating, game winning shots in one playoff run in 2018 against the Pacers in the first round and against the Raptors in the second round. LeBron has more clutch shots than Kobe. That's, that's not even close. That's not even close, but I get it. Aura. But yeah, bro, this guy's a clown. Um, my bad, y'all. I got a call. This nigga go bells. Went to go get a chop. But yeah, this guy's a clown. Um, the clutch shot making, like I said, statistically watched the, the eye test, it's just not even close. It's not even close. And it's it's wild to me, right? Because I quoted it and I was like, demoralizing a defense? killer mentality what are we even doing here this is not analysis and even when we're talking about demoralizing a defense that's still lebron because he has the aspect of playmaking and it's wild to me right he's talking about better rosters lebron nigga kobe played with peak shack shut the fuck up passer lebron <laughs> like like playmaking like you see how he downplayed the playmaking that's who what if we're talking about real Hooper analysis, and that's what BDS holds his holds his um hat to, and that's the thing I don't I don't think BDS would get so cooked if he didn't go after people. Every single one of these tweets is just going after people. Fuck the stat casuals. Stat casuals win the game. But championships, going to in individual individual um analysis of players and why this player is better than the other better rosters better rosters tougher route i mean i, I give kobe the tougher route but can we just talk about the skills that they have if if we're doing a skill breakdown can we just talk about skills but he downplayed the shit out of it, you know? And, like, I quoted it and said that, and shout out to my boy Nas, but he said, I get the mentality stuff, but in terms of breaking down their games, he cooked. And I said, nah, he didn't cook. You want to go ahead? Nah, they don't. I said, nah, he didn't, because he clearly values the aesthetic of scoring rather than the actual production. He skimmed through the playmaking gap, 
while also overrating Kobe's defense because there's no way Braun isn't the clear better defender. Like, what is this nigga talking about? This nigga just be chatting. He said... The production is, some nigga said, the production is great on Kobe's end. The issue is y'all view percentages and whoever has the highest to say that person. Oh my gosh, that's the Nate Dynasty. How much for unban? Autocorrect hoed me. Shout out, shout out the Nate Dynasty for the 10 bucks. How much for an unban? I don't even know what he did. I don't even know what he did. We might have to go through unban requests. I ain't gonna lie. Bro is paying to what? What did he say? What did he say? I don't even know what he said, bro. Is better at that skill. Wrong way to view stats. He also didn't overrate Kobe's defense. Bron's a more versatile defender, not better. He's better. Like he's actually better. What are we doing here? We literally saw prime LeBron James keeping up with Tony Parker in the finals. Cut the bullshit. Um, and it's wild, right? Because. The Monster, get a stream deck, bro. That was crazy. Chat, I've never seen that before. Imagine me. Imagine me going from a, a reaction <laughs> and then doing this. Now that shit was crazy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Monster, get a stream deck, bro. What? <laughs> now that shit was crazy. <laughs> uh. Yo. Yo, you gotta learn, you gotta learn, man. But th this is the social factor, man. Sometimes bullying works, man. You, you need to learn these things, man. He's just, he's just getting started, man. It's cool, it's cool. LeBron and Kobe convo. LeBron just turned 39 today. Happy birthday to, the bro to LeBron, the GOAT, the greatest player of all time, in my opinion. Glaze. But LeBron just turned 39 today. And LeBron is still playing at an all NBA level. And we're still to the at Kobe Bryant <laughs> discussions with some of these clowns. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? LeBron James, defensively, at his peak, it's not even close. It's not even close. We're talking about a depoy caliber player. Kobe Bryant never in his career was really a depoy caliber player. And it's wild to me, right, because... Kobe was a great perimeter defender, elite perimeter defender. I'll not take that away from him. But that's why I say reputation be killing these niggas' minds. Because niggas will look at those all-defensive teams, not even watch the games for real, looking at his defense, and understand he was, over, he was an overrated defender. Kobe is one of the most overrated defenders of all time. This is crazy cherry pick, but... Damn. I remember when uh, people were doing this for, uh, for LeBron in 2018. But he picked it back up in, in, in 2000, uh, whatchamacallit? In like 2020, 2021. I, th I think LeBron was a solid. I, I think this year, LeBron is just a solid defender. And putting up 06 footage is kind of nasty. I ain't going to lie. Off the ball, consistently ball watched. Not great off the ball. Would get lost on screens a lot. Was not great at fighting over screens, especially later in his career. I don't think Kobe was like some liability, but he should not have been making those all defensive teams. In this day and age, I don't even think that would have happened because social media would have held that nigga responsible. They would have held that nigga responsible. We're in an era where niggas like Rudy Gobert get shit on for defense. So best believe Kobe would have not been an exception to the rule. And saying that somebody like Kobe's a better defender than LeBron, you're just lying to yourself. Guys like Ball Don't Stop are clowns. He, he, didn't, he didn't have to do this. He didn't have to do this. I ain't gonna lie. I think, uh, Mustard, I, I get the point, but you're going on Kobe a little bit too much, gang. You, you, <laughs> you go, you going a little bit too much on Kobe now. I ain't gonna lie. Not too much now. Not too much. Guys like Ball Don't Stop, they look at the aesthetic instead of the actual production. Because by, like, niggas like that logic, what about Shaq? Shaq is a better score than a lot of niggas. Shaq's a better score than Hakeem. Hakeem is, like all those things he said, he has better footwork, better post game. But Shaq is a better score. Is he? And that's not even close. No, let me not say it's not, not even close. close? Yeah. 
Like, what are we doing here? Yeah. I, like, like these convos, I, I really, really wish we could graduate from these conversations. Ah. And, you know, it's wild, right? Because if you just look at his page, like, look, look, like, off rip, nigga already shows you what he's about. Nigga got Nick Wright up. Not, not Nick Wright. <laughs> Nick Wright. He's got Nick Young in his, pro, in, in his header. And then in the print tweet, he got Will Barton talking about Kobe Bryant's the best player. That's the thing with you Kobe fans, right? Y'all dick oh, ride so look much that y'all don't even form your own opinions. You look at the opinions of others to create your own uh, idea of stuff, like your own opinions. Why can't you form your own opinion on your own? There are plenty of players who say LeBron is better than uh, Kobe as well and say LeBron is the GOAT. But y'all don't care about those players. Isaiah Thomas played against Michael Jordan, and he says LeBron is better. But if you guys heard that, y'all would say, oh, he's biased. Nigga, everybody is biased. Everybody has things they like, things they don't like. Players are literally more biased than fans when it comes to critiquing players that they played with or against. Remember when the players were allowed to vote on the All-Star game? Nigga, I believe it was uh, 25% of players didn't vote for LeBron or Kevin Durant. Because these niggas are biased. <laughs> players are biased just as much, if not even more, than these media members. That's why players can't vote. Remember when the players used to vote for MVP? They voted Bill Russell as the MVP over Wilt Chamberlain when he averaged 50 points a game. All right, not too much now. Now, here you go. Here we go. Here we go that stat watching shit. Watch the game. Now, nah, let me chill. But not too much on Bill now. Not too much. Not too much. Like, I don't understand why you niggas say these things. Form your own opinions and have some balls, nigga. Have some guts. It's so insane to me how niggas just be chatting. But what you think about it, Go Bells? Nah. Here, you hold some. Here they go, Jay. Here they go first bouncing, y'all. Here they go said, bouncing. You're a loser. I just don't let you know that right now. Oh, shit. Um, that's the first thing. Second, confirmation bias thing has to stop. It has to stop. All these players, a lot of people. I, I heard Shay. I love Shay. He said Kevin Durant was basically Steph Curry. He was he was he was a, a seven foot Steph Curry. Didn't didn't Shay said Kobe to go over MJ because of winning? Like, what are we doing? Right? Look at the camera, not the screen. He was a seven foot Steph Curry, and we all know that's not the case, right? Kevin Durant's very talented. He's not doing what Steph is doing. We know this, right? And it's like players, just because they play against somebody doesn't mean that their opinion is right. It's clear as day that this guy, LeBron James, is out of the Kobe talks. I'm tired of seeing this nigga in the Kobe talks. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. This dude, bro, I don't give a, I don't care if Kobe has better footwork in, uh, hey, guess what, bro? He has more of a killer mentality. That, how do you even measure? More clutch, although all the statistics, everything we see from Braun, Braun is clutcher than Kobe. Come on, man. And, the term is more clutch, not clutcher. I'm going to say clutcher. <laughs> and, and you know you know what's so nasty about all this, dude? Because you remember the list that he put out talking about finishing and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That stupid oh. list. <laughs> that list was so stupid. It was clearly favoring oh, yeah, spammer. LeBron, uh, Kobe, right? That's nasty. That's nasty. Then I also hate when we talk about bag stuff when LeBron, bro, he's probably outside of Shaq, the best paint scorer in, like, of all time. Like, serious, like, I, I just don't understand, man. You know, and I'm not even a big Braun fan. You know, I clown this nigga all the time. But let me tell you this. It's not close. It never will be close. Kobe, Kobe, and Kobe, go ahead, finish, finish it. It never will be close. And the fact that LeBron. I remember B. Souls was telling me Jalen Brown was better than Shea. Box score watching, now he better than Tatum. Eli, not too much now. Not too much. Not too much. Here you go bouncing. Here you go bouncing. Like what what even what even what even caused you to say that, bro? What even what even caused you to say that, bro? God damn, not too much now. Let me get in my history bag. Cause uh it was a rough time in my basketball journey. Alright, man. The love of the game was not there. The video essays was killing my love for the game. But now I'm good, man. Now I seen the light.
Now I actually, you know, so I was bullshitting back then. I'll I'll just say, man, I, I was bullshitting back then. But you know, I'm I'm in tune now. I'm in tune. I'm in tune. I was box score watching back then. So one has four rings, and he never played with Shaq. By the way, I just want to let you know that right now. He never played with Shaq. Pretty impressive. Kareem never gets brought up in these convos, right? And this is a guy that I think everybody acknowledges has a goat case. For the most part, we can acknowledge he has a case. Even if you don't think it's a strong one compared to Jordan and LeBron, he has a case. He never gets brought up. What's the case? Never gets brought up. But we skip. I, I, I keep on asking that question, I, I, and I still haven't gotten a clear answer. What is, what is Kareem's GOAT case? I've made the case for LeBron. I think he's maintained the highest peak for the longest level of time. I think that's 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 LeBron's case. Um, Michael Jordan, in my opinion, the closest thing to a flawless career that has ever walked through the NBA from start to finish. Dominant coming in, dominant coming out, 6-0 in the finals, MVPs, DPOY, the flashiness was there, the off-court impact was there, and even when we break out the, uh, the statistics is also there. But for Kareem, what what is that? What is that? Longevity relative to era? So you're talking about his longevity sh like should not have it should not have existed prior to back then. Let's see. Accolades. Acc Does he have more a I don't know. I guess most MVPs won two finals MVPs in two different eras. Six rings and oldest finals MVP. Most winning basketball player ever. I think most for, winning basketball player ever. For Kareem, the, the one that makes sense to me is the best basketball career of all time from start to finish if we count college. But if I'm just talking about the NBA career, just NBA and just NBA, I think I, he's like, he's barely in the argument. And I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. Because to, to be the greatest of all time, like, you would have to make a case for something that literally no one else has done. But everything else, every everything that you that you could bring up with Kareem, there is either someone who has better accolades or better longevity or a better peak. So at that point, it's like, do you even have a case? It's the same thing we were talking about earlier with um Jalen Brunson. Like, and, and Steph Curry and all these things, like, Steph Curry, does he have a, a GOAT case if he maintains this level of production for six years? Not really. Does he have a career worthy of being in the top five? Yes, but what is his argument to be the greatest of all time? I don't I don't know. Six MVPs? So just, just winning the MVP award six times, that's enough for a GOAT case? I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Get him over Kareem, and we talk about Kobe. Nigga, Kobe is in the Duncan tier. That is no, you're laughing, but he is. Yeah, he is. That's yeah, where he is. He is. Like uh, when being mentioned with Duncan, just funny as hell. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's cause, it's because Duncan's boring. Yep. Like niggas don't want to admit it, but they were in the same era, accomplished basically the same thing. Duncan had better longevity than Kobe, defensively, I'll say. Offensively, no. It's almost like they had an inverse, right? They started off as these two-way players, and then Kobe kind of tailored off defensively, but he had a great offensive longevity. Duncan did, did Duncan. the opposite. Yeah. Like, offensively, he Remember tailored off. Steven Adams numbers? <laughs> <laughs> but defensively, that yeah, nigga was insane. Was, yeah. You know? So it's like they had a like very inverse, like similar careers, yeah, but nobody Rudy even brings them up. Hmm? Nigga went to the Rudy Gobert phase. That is, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> he did go through the Rudy. Really but actually, he was a better offensive player, though. No, he was. He was. The playmaking. He was a better passer. <laughs> yeah, that's not hard. Uh, but nah, man, y'all got to stop putting Kobe in conversations he doesn't belong in, man. And it's also a disservice to Kobe. Because, like, when we have to have convos like this all the time, we're, we're not even praising him. We're critiquing him in a negative way. And I don't like doing that. I fuck with Kobe. You know, all right. It's, it sounds like from what chat is saying, though, Kareem's case would just be the, the most accomplished player of all time. That that That's it. And if that's the case, that's the case. I, w I was genuinely wondering. I was genuinely wondering. 
Because I, I hear, I, I've been hearing it more lately. No one talks about Kareem in these discussions. I'm like, what, what, what is the, what is the case? For me to you, for you to be in a discussion, you have to have a case, right? Like if, if we're doing a superlative, yo, if we're doing a presentation, why you should choose me? What, what is your case that makes you stand out over the rest? If you can't make that case because your case someone else has, but does it better, you don't have a case. You don't. But um, if, if people are just saying Kareem outright, he just he just has the most accomplishments out of any other player. Then hey, you got me there. You got me there. You got me there. But even that, I don't. Hold on, because now I, now I I really gotta look. Now I really gotta look. And I understand this is hella flawed. I understand this is hella flawed. But um, let's just look at. Accomplishments per accomplishments. 19-time All-Star to 19-time All-Star, okay? Two-time scoring champ to one-time scoring champ. Uh, rebounding champ. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I don't really care about the block champions. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, so 19 to 19. Six NBA champ to four. So you got Braun there. 15 All-NBA to 19. So Braun got him there. Not uh, 11 All-Defensive to six. So Kareem got him there. Um, rookie at two, six finals MVP. So, really, really, really the thing pushing Kareem over LeBron in the just accomplishment standpoint is all these block championships. Uh, uh not blocks. Uh, all these statistical championships that he got and the five more defensive teams and two more MVPs. There's five more. I mean, it does. Four more All NBA teams is kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie. When did All NBA become a thing? Hold on. Well, let's find out. When did All NBA teams start? All NBA teams started. It's. Uh, I think it's always been a thing. It's always been a thing, but they expanded it to three All NBA teams in 1988. So, but I don't, has there ever been a year where LeBron just made All-NBA 13? Let's find out. Let's fuck around and find out. All-League 13. Okay, he made 13. Oh, he's been making 13. So much. I'm, tripping. <laughs> I'm tripping. But prior to 88, I mean, I feel it. I feel it. If anything, it shows how much parity there was in the 70s. But yeah, Le LeBron did a decent amount of times. Okay. I mean, okay, I see, I see it. I see it. Kareem to LeBron. You can still make the case that Kareem is a more accomplished player. That's that's the that's the GOAT argument for him. That's the GOAT argument for him. Shout out to Rada for the gift. I forgot about Rada, man. <laughs> I forgot about Rada, man. Um... LeBron does have two more finals MVPs. Okay, so so let's let's do this one more time. So we're talking about two more championships, five more all defensive teams, two more MVPs. That's that's the edge that Kareem got. LeBron has we want to count the all star MVPs, but let's let's not be nasty. <laughs> let's not be nasty. LeBron has two more finals MVPs. And four more All NBAs. Four more All NBA selections. Does that does that make up for the difference? I don't know. I don't know. I think it cancels out to be honest. Like that difference cancels out. Um, and then uh, what you call it? Let's go to Michael Jordan. Let's go to Michael Jordan. Uh, again, we're, we're just accomplishment watching at this point. I understand it's flawed, but I'm just trying to see the case for Kareem. So, 19 of 14. Um, all NBAs, 15 to 11. All defensive, 11 to 9. Six MVPs to 5. Two to 6. Man. Accomplishments. He does have he does have it over Kareem. I ain't gonna lie, he does have it over Kareem. But um, shout to Mister for the video though. 
But I don't, I don't. But uh, yeah. Uh, shout out to mustard for the video. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. 